welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to continue looking at ratio and proportion and in today's video i'm going to look at presenting ratios on pie charts presenting ratios on pie chart so watch this video up to the end as i'm going to show you how you can present ratios on a pie chart with that being said let's get into today's lesson so in today's lesson i'm going to use this question or this statement yeah, this question to or to demonstrate on how you can present ratios on a pie chart. So the question is: Blessing has fifteen crayons, twelve water pens, and nine pencils. Write the ratio of pencils to crayons to water pens in its lowest terms and present the ratio in a pie chart. Okay, so that is our question. So. What we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the uh, the statement which are given the ratio which has which is already given which is uh, this one the one I've underlined in green which is pencils to crayon to water pens that is the 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 ratio we're going to to concentrate on because you need to pay attention to this ratio so that it can be easier for you to come up with a, a correct ratio. So I'm going to rewrite this ratio down here so that it can help me to come up with a correct ratio. So now the ratio I, we ask to, to write is pencils to crayons to watermarks. So I'm going to start with pencils. How many pencils does Esther has? According to the statement given, she has nine pencils. So I'm going to put nine there under pencils. Then how many crayons does Esther has? She has 15 crayons. So I'm going to put 15 under crayons. How many water pins does she has? She has 12 water pins. Therefore, I'm going to put 12 under water pins. Once I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check whether these numbers which are in the ratio have got a common factor. A number that can go in two all of these three without leaving a remainder. We know that one can go in two of these three, but the problem is when we use one, we will still get the same numbers. One nine divided by one will give us nine. Fifteen divided by one will give us fifteen. Twelve divided by one will give us twelve. Now we need to have a, a, a number that when we divide uh, these numbers, the answer should be different from these numbers. So we know that uh, 2 can't go into 9, but 3 can, and 3 can also go into 15, and can also go into 12. And that is the only number that can go into all these 3. So I'm going to use 3 to divide these numbers. Okay, so I'm going to start with 9, where I'm going to divide. 9 divided by 3, okay, 9 divided by 3, we'll, we'll see what are the answer we're going to get the we, then I will also go to 15 divided by 3, then 12 divided by 3. Okay, once I've done that, then the next thing I'm going to start now getting the quotients of these expressions. So 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. 15 divided by 3 will give us 5. 12 divided by 3 will give us 4. And this, this is the lowest uh, this is the ratio which is in its lowest terms. So we have reduced the 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 ratio which was nine to fifteen to twelve to its lowest term, which is now three to five to four. Okay. Now we are we are done answering the first part of the question. We are remaining with the second part of the question, which is present the ratio in the in a pie chart present the ratio in a pie chart so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw the circle there once i've done that i'm going to divide this circle in two three portions okay or three parts i'm going to divide this circle in two three parts so uh, how i'm going to divide it it will be like this there will be the biggest portion then there will be the second bigger portion and then there will be a smaller a smaller portion so i'm going to divide it like this okay 
and that okay that's now we can see that we have got one which is uh, the bigger portion and then we have got uh, at least the, the, the the bigger it's bigger than the other and they have got the small rest okay so we have got three portions with different sizes now we need to present this uh, ratio into this uh, circle or pie chart so what we're going to do we're going to start with the three three is standing for pencils so when we look at the three among the numbers given in the ratio you see that three is the smallest number so we'll take up the smallest portion in the circle so we that three stands for pencil so i'm going to write pencil and the three itself if you want you can't write it uh, through the number itself but i'm writing this so that it can help you to understand fully but it's not really necessary to write even the number but i'm going to do that so i'm going to write pencil and three there meaning pencil in the ratio has got the number has got the value of three okay now once we are done writing the the, the value of the pencils in the ratio we are going to write now five uh, five because it's the one which is on the middle and it stands for crayons so we're going to write five in the biggest because five is the biggest number among those among those three numbers so we're going to write five in the bigger portion of the circle and that five who is standing for crayons so we're going to write crayons and the number five like that like once we have done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write four which stands for quarter pins and we're going to write quarter pins and four the number itself so i'm going to write water pins and four there now uh, the ratio has been presented in a pie chart so basically this is how you present the ratio on a pie chart okay if you have got questions we will be glad to answer them in the comment section otherwise this is what i had to share with you today thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning Z mathematics. The future is bright. See you in the next video and God bless you.